Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're exploring the most ignorant Karens on the internet. Let's take a look. Even when Karen is in the wrong for blocking the road, she still tries to play the victim. But if this clip is played in court, I don't think her case is much to lean on. Just this massive f***ing space here, but you're just still clocking on down the road, aren't you? Move! Move! Why don't you move? I've got you on f***ing camera! You tried to I have not tried to run you over! You stop f***ing hitting my car! I'm I calling the police on you, you horrible c***! Go on! You walk down here! I'm trying to get past! There's loads of space for you to walk there! You just f***ing slapped my car! I couldn't get f***ing less! I'm calling the police! I'm calling the f Karens love to have evidence to back up their argument, but using the Bible against a student? That's a whole new level of crazy. ...with the fact that you just have no respect for anybody, including yourself. And wearing this doesn't make you wonderful. That's if you... If, uh, oh, well, let's not go there, but yeah. you know what? It says be obedient, doesn't it? And you are not being obedient. Wait, you, say trust is you are not being obedient. That's all I'm saying. That's a little crossing. You are not being she obedient by not listening to the teacher. I don't care who it is up here. Hey, ma'am, that's kind of that's disrespectful no. to touch his cross like that. No, you can't. Yeah, no. tell me that I'm not being a good Christian. I didn't say that. I said yeah, you are not being obedient. And that's not okay. It's never okay to tell someone that they're being a good Christian. I didn't say that. Only God can say you're not being obedient. Sumo Karen is rattled when she confronts a pest control worker. Maybe she's worried this guy is after her. Okay, and what are you trying to sell? I'm selling pest control. Do you want to buy from pest control? No. Okay. Have a good night so then. So do you have... No, I want to... No, I'm a trustee here in the village and I want to know what you're doing here. Well, like I just told Jane, you... Jane, I'm going to call. I'll call you right back. Hello? Hey man, how you doing? Good. Yeah. <laughs> I got some. What was your name again? Margaret Zitzer. Say it one more time. Margaret Zitzer. Um, and do you have I, a license to I've be got, here? I do, yeah. Hold on, Margaret. Um, I've got Margaret Zitzer. Hi, hey, how do you spell it? Margaret Zitzer, 921 East Glenbrook Road. I've got some solicitors here that are going around trying to sell pest control. And I'm a little worried about it. I've got neighbors calling me about it. Hey, Margaret, can you come here real quick? Glenn Brook. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm talking to the guy in the car right now. It's still this clip is an amazing example of a Kevin sneak attack, all because both him and Karen don't like being filmed when they're told that they're wrong. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. This guy swings at me. Why don't you put your phone down? Put your phone down. What's, What's the down? problem? What Vegan Karen has a very flawed argument in this one, as she doesn't seem to realize that there is such a species as a flying fish. They die. They don't die. They're not flying fish. They're not meant to jump out of the water. With Do you know anything about marine biology? Do you know? You? Yes, I actually I do. Well, oh, so it's good and natural for them to be hurt. How many fish die like from that. being released? Whether or not they Tell die me, when they're shut released. Shut the up. Still... How many? Okay. No, you see, you're already encroaching on everyone having a great night for Father's you're encroaching Day. Encroaching on somebody else's life. I'm encroaching on public domain. The entire earth is public, okay? So no, it's not. Oh, you're one of them. One of them. You're one of them. One the of whole them. earth is public domain. The earth is not public domain. Okay, you do not need to keep fish. 
privilege to survive. I, I'm sorry, but you don't need You don't need to be here having this conversation with me. Uh, if you're going to kill somebody else, I do need to. I'm not. I'm killing an animal, which I have a license that allows me to go ahead and recreational fish. I don't, I'm not concerned with what the law says. When Karen asked for this Wingstop manager, I really doubt she was ready for his reaction to her complaint. And called me a dumb bitch! And she still has a fucking job? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I came here to buy food from you guys! my customers! I came here to buy food from you! From this chain restaurant! And she called me a dumb bitch! Because I was wet! So what was the point of all this? I came in here wet! And she looked at me and she called me a dumb ass bitch because of the way that I look and she still has a job? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? That's up! That's up! You don't do like that! You don't do like that! You don't have somebody call me a dumb ass bitch and still has a dumb ass bitch! Get the fuck out of here! You're a dumb fucking white nut cracking motherfucker! Take a look at how this Karen doesn't seem to understand that managers don't appear on command. What is the manager? <laughs> Call your manager. What is the manager? Call your manager. What is the manager? Call your manager and we'll find out. They can do nothing. Why? Why? Because she paid the paycheck? No, because we're following the rules. Dude, give we me my food or everybody. give me my money back. You know what? I Call the principal! And take this. Mm -hmm. You do something that is not right, mm -hmm. I will trespass you. And if you do something crazy, I'm just crazy, contacting on Twitter. You're gonna tase me? You're gonna tase me? <laughs> you're gonna tase so, me? No, for real, I'm saying. Oh, I'm okay. Awesome. So, Have a great one. Bye. bye bye. Happy New Year. No, I'm having a great year with a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Karen is an example of how not to treat store employees if you want a refund. So I just want verification that the only way for me to get a refund on those two crispy chicken sandwiches. Yeah that are not edible is for you to do a refund which will take three to five possibly seven to ten business days for me to get a credit back and then for you to recharge me so basically charging me sixty dollars for food that's not edible instead of giving me a refund and i am again i am recording because this is not customer service this is not customer service you guys should not have to charge me sixty dollars for i don't i don't care if you want to be recorded so yes sir i am recording and I want verification. I want a refund on those. Those are not edible. I have more over there that I have spit out. She's telling me the only way for you guys to refund me on that is to give me a refund on my card, which will take three, five, seven, ten business days, and for you guys to charge my card again, which would be a sixty dollar, a sixty dollar hole basically for Burger King. What happens if you cross a Kevin and road rage, threats, no brain cells, and this clip? What? For what? I'll break your jaw, mutual combat. Remember you flicked me off? What's up, boy? Mutual combat. I'll break your jaw. Yeah, mutual combat. I... Man to man. Mano a mano. I'll break your jaw, boy. You little white boy? You little picker with boy? I'm gonna stay your ass in the grown man's place, boy. White boy, are you I'll racist? Here, are you being racist? I'll put a place on your head, boy. I'll put a place on your head, boy. Are you racist? I'm watching you talk to little horse state, boy. Are that you racist? Big out here, boy. Anything big out here, boy. Take your poke ass back to Texas, boy. Get your ass boy out here, boy. I'm in. I have some white boys come and get you, boy. I'm gonna be. White boys come and get you, boy. I have some white boys. They love to like you. They love to stay on time, boy. Yeah, boy, don't play with me. I'll beat your ass. Kevin really isn't a fan of this store's mask policy, but he takes his complaint to the next level. Stop dictating my life because you're afraid. If you feel the mask works, then why are you worried about me? If the mask work, if the mask work, you're free to wear it. If the mask work, protect yourself from me. Everybody look at the short guy. Wear a mask. Look at the short guy. Oh, you're so Everyone look at the short guy. What's your f***ing is this big? How is this big? But his f***ing is this big. This Karen is parked in an illegal spot but she somehow comes to the conclusion that the other person will get fined for her actions? My brain hurts with this one. By law, you cannot take a picture of me or my car. That's a no parking zone. I'm stopped, zone. I'm not parked. Go ahead, videotape all you want. I'm stopped, I'm not parked. You're not allowed to park here. It's not your area to 
tell me. Call I live here. security. Tell security to come take me off. Call so, security. No, go ahead. So you you're videotaping. So you're parking go in ahead. a you're parking in a fire go zone. Go ahead. Here, I'll videotape you too. Go ahead. You want to do it this way? By law, you cannot videotape me or my plate. I will get you fined. 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 I will get you fined. Look. See, I'm taking your video too. Look how smart that is. When Karen doesn't get the parking space she wants, she takes getting something off her chest a little too literally. This is public indecency. It's actually breast You're milk. You're doing public indecency. It's You're not. It's breast titties. milk. You're pulling your titties out. It's breast milk. You're pulling your titties out and putting it in on my car. Yep, there's milk on your exactly. car. Exactly, that's public because indecency. Because you, it's not public indecency. Listen, I got you on video. I can call the police right now or Go you can just leave. Go for it because it's breast milk. This employee has the patience of a saint when dealing with this Kevin, who just doesn't seem to be able to take no for an answer. Why, Kiki? You're refusing my services. Sir. Because I'm mixed race? That's why? Because I'm half black? Yes, that's what I feel. That's what I feel. Because really? I have a Sir, double, I have a double room. Money, no, I have no, no, a double no. room. I have no. a double room. And then the room is wrong on go. my reservation. That's 72 and 31, sir. I'm going to cancel the reservation. You have a blessed rest of your day, sir. I'm going to have a receipt for the cancellation, please. Yes, you sure can. Because you didn't want anyone to deal with me anyway. Just racist. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. But definitely, I got you on tape, and it'll definitely go to Motel 6, and it'll definitely go viral. So you're refusing you're refusing my service because I'm light-skinned with long hair. <laughs> like, real talk. You're refusing my service. You laughed at me when I walked in, and you're refusing my service now. Just tell me, why are you refusing my services? I already paid. The room is wrong. And I said, here. And you just said, no. It's going to go viral anyway. But just tell me, though, Kiki, why are you refusing my services, though? Real, this is the Motel 6 way? Motel 6, Kiki is refusing my services for no, what is your reason why, Kiki? That you're refusing my services. I booked, the room is wrong. And I still didn't give you no complaint. I walked in, you laughed because I, I pulled instead of pushed. Or pulled, like, come on. And then you're refusing my room. Like, I don't get it. What's good? Public facing jobs really deserve more recognition for what they put up with, especially when it's this very special breed of Karen. I need this. Coffee return, and I need my bowl of soup return. Whatever that soup was, I need it return. Return what I ate. Return my food. Refund my money. Refund my money. Refund my money. Hello? Can you please refund my money? Can you please refund my money? Refund my money! I need my coffee correct! I think Karens are getting stupider, because this one really doesn't seem to understand the word leave. Okay, well the owner wants you to leave. So, it's pretty cut and dry. I am sorry. I'm sorry, I have a medical exception. Okay. Just so you know, okay, if you do have a medical exemption, it's probably a good idea to carry the paperwork with you. What are we in Germany now? I mean, I don't think anybody's going to wear a mask, okay? Yeah. Just be quiet, okay? Yeah. And you're right, there's no law against yeah, that. No but there is, a, there is a law that says if the store does not want you here, regardless of what you're doing, mask or not. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you said it. You're okay. Okay. We all do. Right, and these people and everybody else in here has the right to go around and you're, you're being unmasked and you're not going to create a problem for other people. Okay, well, I'm sorry too, but this is this is, this is what's going to happen, okay? Do you have an idea with you, like a driver's license or something? Can I see it? So I can, so I can identify you. Well, are by the law. Could I you are, by, by ignoring the management's request to leave I the building. I'm not harming anyone. That's not the point. Okay. Oh, the point is that I, I said you need to leave. She okay, and she's the owner. Because I don't have a mask, which I have. Whatever the reason is, okay? Mm -hmm. If they don't want you here, to, don't, don't focus on the mask, okay? okay? They don't want you here. I understand. Okay, them, and that's the law. Please. That's the law, okay? That if they don't want you here, you and they ask your you mask is not covering you. Sure. You're okay, by a couple millimeters, I'm sorry. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so oh, sorry, whatever you need to do. Um, okay, so you're refusing to give me your ID, is that right? I don't know. I mean, why am I? You don't, yes or no. I mean, either you give it to me. You don't have to. I don't have my breaking law. Is that why? Why not give me your ID? Well, you're I mean, do, am I doing I anything to you? Okay. So, I don't understand. what's your name then? What's your name again, man? Johanna. Johanna. Johanna what? Okay, I'm not asking you, I'm asking you. K-E-E-F-E? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what's your birthday? You do it right, but you don't... The thing is, you can't prove that to anybody, so they don't know. We don't know that. If you know you have that, which you know you did, you should have that paperwork with you. So you can expire. There, there isn't, but I mean, we'll go a long way as far as cooperation. Yeah. I bet if you showed them paperwork that you're exempt. Watch this Karen completely disregard the store's boundaries just so she can get what she wants. What you called me? Oh, what is your name? Because hey, I keep calling me. Okay, can I tell you something? I'm going to come back there. I run a restaurant. Step up, Arnold. What is your name? Step up, Arnold. What is your name? Step up, Arnold. What is your name? What is her name? You tell me right now. Tell me. Tell me. Okay, she's going to jail. Okay, thank you. you better not cross this Karen because not only is her husband a cop, but she'll lecture you on how to drive too. My husband's a police officer okay, around the that's corner. that's fine. That's good. So here's why. Uh -huh. I have two children in the car. Is it? Okay. You came up on my right side. Okay. I had no blinker on. Okay. 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 It's not a double Okay. It's a okay. single lane. Okay. And it's a yellow one. Okay. Left side. This is a single line up there. And wait, wait, wait. You, we wait, wait. wait. We, not, we allow you, you to talk. Go back up there? We allow you to talk. You're on the far left, and you're like you're turning into that driving center. You know how many people go inside? Oh, stop. Wait, wait, wait. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. You know how many people Light. go inside? I have on my blanket. Excuse me. I'm talking. You were let looking you on the left so side during this shopping center. You was on the far left you side, like you were going into the center. Just like everybody else do, there's a lot of people that come down here that don't put on a signal and turns into there. So I assume because you're far to the left that you was going into that center, so I went around you. Nothing's wrong. And wasn't that. paying attention. But do to me a favor. So going right. forward, you should not do stuff like that. Okay. If you're going to go straight, Good idea. then fine. Good idea. Okay. Not don't do that stuff like that. Yeah, you're not paying future, attention. Don't pay attention. Okay. And you're driving with a cell phone in your hand. That's against hey. the. Karen loves to create drama, even when there is none. And this one, well, she won't stop till she knows where you live. Dude, you know who lives here? You. Yeah. You know who lives here? Yeah, I do. How do you know that I don't live here? Let me here? tell you how. Because I was here when this neighborhood was built, and I knew every single person who bought in here. Are I've you? I've lived here since 2010. Are you serious right now? I'm so serious. So you know everybody that lives You know here? everyone that lives in my neighborhood. You live here? We do live yes. here, actually. That's great if you live here. Do you live here? Yes, yes. Does. Okay, so Who where? Cares? I'm not giving you my address. When your parents said don't talk to strangers, they should have included Karens in that warning too, even if they try to chase you. So how old are you? Do you know the difference between a motor? Here's a wild Karen. Even when Karen is told that she's got the wrong house, she's determined to still be in the right. This is a display of ignorance at its finest. I think you have us confused with the second neighborhood because we ain't setting off no fireworks. We ain't setting off no fireworks. We have no fireworks in possession. Get off our property, please. Get off our property, please. Ma'am, get off our property, please. Get off our property. Okay, I'm calling the cops. Here, every what are you talking minutes. about? We don't sit 
have any yes, fireworks. No. I am going to ask you nicely or I'm going to call the cops. Okay. We have a Karen who can't even pick on adults her own size, so she goes after kids instead. Take a look at this. <laughs>